go. All right, so let's see. We have the Valero Community Meeting for April 6th, 2021. And uh, let me see if I can share this out here. One second. Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and start with the uh, status reports for everybody. Uh, Carlicia. Okay, so uh, yeah, I just listed the few things that I did for this past week. Uh, most of my time I spent testing if uh, for people who were in the last two calls, I was having, I, I, there was a, an issue with the 1.6 colds that was only happening for me, <laughs> no matter what AWS cluster I used. And I still wanna run some tests about that with the two, but uh, I, I do have some, some tests that I wanna run with that code to figure out why that was happening. But at any rate, we narrowed down, um, Bridget and Ashish helped me and we narrowed down what cold was causing that. It was just uh, some printer, uh, some some extra fields that we added to the CRDs. Makes no sense at all. I'm not gonna get into it, but we removed, we reverted that. We just pulled it out of, of the cold branch, tested everything again. Everything's fine. So we cut an RC2 version. And uh, if anyone, if people want to use that and test, it would be awesome. Just remember to use the the plugin images for that are tagged 1.2.0. Uh, I don't know the vSphere, I think has a different number, but the, the other two, uh, AWS GCP in Azure 1.2.0 and you'll be good to go. And that's it for me. Okay, sounds good. Bridget? Hi everyone. Um, so um... I think the most significant thing I have to chat about this week is uh, last week we released um, V1.5.4. So this is in the middle of all the 1.6 release stuff that's going on. We need to make a change to the 1.5 um, release. So it includes a couple of bug fixes, which I think um, quite a few people hit. Um, particularly was a, there was an issue with um, doing RASTIC restores if you were using a namespace mapping. So that issue has been fixed and it's included in that release. So if you've been um, hit by that issue, uh, please upgrade and uh, that should be resolved. Um, and we also need it for some internal um, build changes. We need to make some changes to our make file um, to help with our internal builds. So that was another driving change behind that. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't have anything else to report so let's see sounds good any questions for Bridget or Calicia <laughs> okay moving right along um, Ashish uh, for, for me it was more release testing last week uh, and other than that uh, like tracking down the weird issue that Calicia was talking about uh, reverting the change to add print that added printer columns to our CRDs. Uh, we have an issue open that still needs to be investigated as to why that ha that was happening. Uh, if folks have ideas, please feel free to chime in on the issue that's open. Okay, sounds good. Any questions for Shish? Okay, um, so for myself, so no one's out for the next two weeks. Um, I'm covering from his tech lead, so any of the lead type issues, uh, feel free to send those my way. Um, last week, mostly uh, working on testing. Also, uh, Eleanor and I did a lot of work together on the Valero vision strategy planning. Um, we went over the one seven roadmap the other day, and um, we're just looking at, right now. You know that what's on there looks good to her, so. We're going to start scoping that and figuring out um, what we can get done um, in the next release time frame. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it for me. Any questions? OK, uh, moving along to discussion topics. Uh, Eleanor, you're up. Sure. Uh, so uh, for those of you who I'm not 
think I've met nearly everyone on the call, but I'll just say I'm Eleanor. I'm the new product manager or uh, Valero from VMware. Uh, and so I'm getting still getting to know the team processes. And so um, one thing I know is that the team every week, a different person strives to answer questions on the Valero Slack. So I've noticed though there's a whole bunch of questions and it seems to me it'd be great to try to encourage people in the community who are not just the maintainers to answer those questions. We see that occasionally. I think that Scott answered a question recently, which was great, thank you. Um, but I was just wondering, have we considered answering questions on Stack Overflow? I have a friend on the Spring Security team, and she said that they every time someone asks them a question anywhere, they always say, please post on Stack Overflow. You can send me the link. They answer it there. And then, of course, they're Googleable. If people Google the questions that come up and the Stack Overflow has that point system, maybe we can kind of gamify having other members of the community <laughs> answer the question. So I'm assuming you've thought of this. I was wondering what uh, thoughts on this and whether it's been a discussion topic in the past. So what the GitHub, what the, the GitHub discussions, the move to GitHub discussions does pretty much uh, the same thing, except that it's not Stack Overflow. Uh, the reason I would prefer GitHub discussions over Stack Overflow is it is closer to the code base and it is, uh, it, yeah, it kind of keeps the FAQs or the discussions next to the code, uh, it, it becomes easier for people to uh, go from one to another. Is it as searchable? Like if you go into Google and Google something, will uh, Google pick up? Because I believe with Stack Overflow, I think it, it indexes the answers. Do you think that that happens with GitHub discussions? Oh, um, should. Yeah. It should. I mean, it's a, it's a regular open website. It's not like a Slack channel. Yeah. Um, so any, the, um, the community feedback. The 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 search feature. Yeah, it is Google. Is it is uh, indexed by Google because it's public. The search feature, though, like like Ashish was saying, is super valuable because you can drop a string on the GitHub repo, and there that string might have uh, an answered question already. So you will see, right, the, all the GitHub discussion, uh, it, it, uh, GitHub breaks down by, by issue, codes, GitHub discussion. So everything is there. So it's very, very helpful. Um, so Stack Overflow, I have browsed, I have actually answered a couple of other related questions, questions on Stack Overflow. Uh, the, the question would be, Anytime we want to consider this, and we should always be rethinking the way we do things. But the question, the first question would be, would it be in addition to what we're doing or to replace something we are doing? And I think and, I didn't um, realize, oh, sorry, please continue. Yeah, I don't think you knew that about, you were very clear about the, the that we have the, we the have GitHub that sort discussions, of system, you're right. Yeah, and people who answer the questions on the GitHub discussion, they get an attribution. So, you know, the GitHub check marks, that like mm. when you set, when your PR gets merged, you get a check mark. If your answer gets marked as a, the right answer, you get one of those those check marks as well. So it's it, it, it is something that we hope that will motivate people. But oh. I guess the follow up question then is: Have we thought about in the Slack channel saying, "Hey, can you please ask it on?" Like really, basically saying we won't answer Every any questions. Day. <laughs> okay, we do, we do, and we we can't get out of Slack because Slack is the ecosystem for Kubernetes and in all the projects out there. And uh, sometimes we answer things there, but if it's just like a Q and A kind of answer question, we we direct we, we direct them. Actually, I've been forgetting to do this lately, but. Dave is very good about doing that. We oh, we oh, should oh. all try to direct them to to post, posting it on on uh, there or opening an issue, which would be better. Well, I'm least. happy to help with that because that I can do without any technical knowledge or deep technical knowledge <laughs> of Valera. So I will happily help with that. Please, then. yes. Yes. Where's your log files? And please go to the GitHub discussion. <laughs> yep, I can I can have those on on uh, auto. <laughs> Okay. Um, I, I am curious to see if anybody, you know, from outside the team has any strong opinions on this, outside the core team. Going once, going twice. Okay, well, we'll keep that as uh, something we, you know, we, we may revisit this in a while. I think we just did the move to GitHub discussions, what, two months ago? So I don't want to have too much whiplash on everything, but it's a good suggestion. 
Um, oh, and I and the, really the answer is I'm going to start in Slack saying, oh, have you considered asking this on the GitHub? We're going to we're trying to drive discussion there. So I can just keep saying that again and again and again. I'm happy to help with that. Yeah, we might check in with the spring team and see if they have, you know, any strong reasons for why, you know, Stack Overflow, you know, because GitHub discussions are relatively new as well, right? Mm -hmm. So when they switch to Stack Overflow, that may not have been available for them. Um, it, there are some it's very but, new, yeah. Yeah. And it was, even at, when we started using, it wasn't open for everybody. There was a, a GitHub issue that was open and they were like, oh, if you want, drop your project name here. And I did that and because I found it by chance. But I think now it's open for everybody. Okay. Well, I can yeah, take I the action item of, I'll ask my friend from Spring Security if she knows why they, who adopted that and if there's a reason they do that over Stack over, over GitHub. So. Yeah, yeah, so the GitHub discussions are brand new. So they probably adopted earlier. Um, and um, I think we're probably doing well enough that we want to revisit this issue maybe in like six months, just see right. how we're doing and get some feedback from everybody. But um, otherwise, yeah, I think we can just leave leave things alone for the moment. Sounds good, thank you. Thanks for the yeah. context. Um, anything else people want to bring up for discussion for today? Um, I want to, I, by the way, this is Tom. So um, I want to see what is the list of the issue that we're going to release in the next release, 1.7, right? And, and I want to see if we can add the uh, issue related to the plug-in version, plug-in uh, contacts and, and, and enhancing the interface uh, with the contacts and so that we can do timeout and so on and so forth. In that uh, next release, um, I think it's one for seven. So, I do not have, the, I do not have the, 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 the bug number, the issue number on top of my head, but I-, I, I uh, So this is the roadmap. And so plug-in versioning is on our core items, which is things that we're basically saying we, we got to have. Um, and plug-in timeouts um, is on the desired list. And um, you know, if we, I think right now we're, we're looking to you to kind of drive that. So if you can drive that into the 1.7 release, we'd be very happy. Um, for the timeout, definitely, uh, I wouldn't have with that. Uh, but for the uh, I might not uh, able to and I can work, I can contribute to that, but I, 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 uh, I'm not really good at that. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> you're breaking up. Uh, I say that definitely for the plugin timeout, I will have driving it, but for the versioning, I might need some. Yeah, I think, we, I think we've got plans to drive, the core team's gonna drive the, the plugin versioning and, um, and we can work together to get the plugin timeouts out. So currently you're on yeah. the roadmap. Thank you, thank you. Good. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anything else? Okay, well, uh, I, so, oh, go ahead. I, maybe, maybe I can raise, I'm not sure if this is the right um, platform to raise a question. So I, I've been debugging um, um, Valero a couple, since a couple of days and I'm facing an issue with, um, with restoring um, from a backup, um, with restoring um, re a restic um, volume, and yeah, maybe is is there something known? So I'm used. So I've switched from one dot four something. I think it was one dot four dot. I don't know, to one dot five dot three, and yeah. So. Um, what I see is that somehow, for any reason, Rastic has not been called. So there is no pod, pod volume restore created, etc. And I have no clue where I can check what I can check. Is there something known? Or is this maybe my environment that is... Um, Did you in yeah. install with Rastic? Um, no, it's not the... Um, the, so, the yeah so I, i've run into the problem that the, if i install and i don't include restic as part of the install and i try to restore it just fails but um so you might check and make sure that the restic um pods are running yeah so so backup is fine so i see um i see um the the restic repo in um it's 
yeah, it, it's in the bucket and everything is fine. And, and I see inside of locks that somehow, um, yeah, there, there is some action um, with, with Restic, but at the end, there is no part volume restore. There is no call to Restic. Um, and I don't have a clue where I can, uh, yeah. So I'm going to shoe um, open with this. Oh. So yeah. I was just going to ask, so, um, yeah. sorry, I, I was just wondering if you're using namespace remapping on the restore, um, yeah. because that is one of the issues that 1.5.4 fixes. Um, so maybe try with, with uh, 1.5.4 if you're using namespace remapping, because that was a known issue with, uh, with RESIC. Ah, okay. Maybe that helps. So, yeah, I'm using namespace mapping, so uh, I, I yeah. want to restore it to another namespace. Yes. Um, so, yeah, in that case, um, I would uh, use um, upgrade to 1.5.4. It was released uh, just last week. Um, and <laughs> go from there, and hopefully that should fix your issue. Yeah, okay. That's a good, um, that's a good um, direction, maybe to check this out, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. thanks for this. If, if that doesn't work for you, you know, come on over to the GitHub and uh, what are we doing? We're opening issues for things that look like they might be bugs, right? Um, so yeah. open an, an issue, please, but include all of the logs. Yeah, yeah, please. yeah, <laughs> So uh, There's a list I'm, of things I'm, I'm there, so, Yeah, so I wonder if this is the right platform. So there is also a office hours on Thursday, I think. I think this is pretty much the better um, stage um, to raise such questions. Or... Yeah, office hours are good. Um, you know, a, a quickie here is, is fine, but um, yeah. So, okay. I mean, really, you know, the, the thing is that it's very hard to debug things if you don't have the log files to look at. There may be stuff that we're seeing, you know, that we're looking for that you're not aware of that we should, that you should check. So really, really helps. And I just want to make this, I mean, I'm sure everybody here knows this, but just pass it on and give, feel free to push back on people and clear the log files in support requests. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for this. Okay, so um, since we're still in code freeze, there's no um, contributor shout outs. Um, if it's not too late, I was gonna I wanted to bring up one other issue to, to talk about. Um, yeah. yeah um, it's noticed uh, you had an open issue 2505 to upgrade the Valero CRDs to use the V1 um, CRD um, uh, because the V1 beta one is going to be going away um, relatively soon. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, Kubernetes 122. I was just just wondering if that's something that's being looked at for the one seven time frame. And I know it's complicated because you still want to work with older versions. You don't want to be shut out of anything older than 116. Um, yeah, probably something we should put on the the list of things to do. I noticed at one point it was on the one five, um, one fifteen milestone, and then it was for one five, and then it was pulled off. Um, um, you know, but so because I the reason I bring that up is it's something we're actually looking at on uh, at the Red Hat side with our um, migration tool as well, and so kind of having a Valero version that fits into that, um, you know, for the release where we're going to be, you know, dealing with this for our own CRDs, um, you know, this was kind of like to see it on the roadmap just so I can kind of have an idea for when to expect. Sure. What was the number for that? It's 2505. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Eleanor, can you take a note on this one? Yeah, I do, I do see Happy that no one so. commented um, recently on it, but. Yeah, so we can look at, at if we can uh, get that into 1.7. Okay. I think that's. Let's see. So 122 <clears throat> is coming down the road towards us. <laughs> yep. Okay. Thanks for raising that, Scott. Sure. No, no problem. Okay. Um, anything else? All right. Um, I think we can call that a wrap. Thank you, everybody. Great. Right, thank you. See oh, you next thanks. week. Thanks. Again. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.